going on guys, boy Joey 672 coming to you guys with the video right now. Um, I feel like I'm getting sick again. I don't know what's going on. Everybody's sick at work. Everybody's sick everywhere. <clears throat> and I literally slept the whole entire day today. So, I mean, I got home earlier and yeah, I made one video, came back and don't really feel too good. So I'm going to go over the free agent defensive tackles. And there's two I really want to talk about that the Eagles could sign that are very realistic options. Okay. So you've got Chris Jones. Um, from KC, okay, 26 years old, and he's been very disruptive. This year was a prime year. This man, Chris Jones, is going to get paid. Now, I don't know if the Eagles would actually pay. Um, I don't think the Eagles would actually pay Chris Jones and give him some monster deal because, I mean, who knows what's going to happen to Malik Jackson. I mean, if you paired Chris Jones up with Fletcher Cox, yeah, it would be pretty damn cool. But there's a lot of money tied up at the deep defensive tackle position right now. You know, Cox is making a killing right now every year. So when it comes to Chris Jones coming here, I don't think it's realistic. I think maybe they'll dab at it, but I don't think it's realistic just because of how of a monster year and his agent is not going to go on some rotate, you know, some little shit deal that they could do. I think the most realistic option right now is Mike Daniels. Now, Mike Daniels, we actually tried signing this past year. Okay, in the off season, well, last year before the season started, uh, we passed up on Mike Daniels. Mike Daniels ended up signing, um, ended up signing with Detroit Lions. Now it's been two years since he really had a good year. I mean, he was probably one of the best, the top defensive tackles in football. Okay, um, and and he's had two pretty pretty bad years. I think the Eagles should give him a chance, give him a one year prove it deal, bring Mike Daniels in as a rotational guy because. The thing is, when you look at a guy like Chris Jones that's doing so well in Kansas City right now, or the top defensive tackle free agents like that, they're not going to want to be in a rotational role. They're going to want to play the whole entire game. So if Mike Daniels is willing to come in and kind of be that rotational guy, and I know that he likes Fletcher Cox. I know that he's, you know, he likes some of these guys. I mean, who really knows at this point? Malik Jackson... We really didn't get a chance to see what Malik Jackson can do. Unfortunately, that injury in that first game against the Redskins kind of screwed us over at that position. I mean, thank God that Timmy Jernigan was signed for like a, a year deal with a, a million and a half salary that he ended up getting, which was a steal. Um, and, and it seems like Tim Jernigan has kind of went down the totem pole a little bit um, just on just what he's doing on the field. I mean, compared to the first year when he was here in 17, my God, he was one of the best run stopping um, top run stopping defensive tackles in the league coming on coming to the Eagles uh, the Baltimore Ravens develop you know defensive tackles very nicely over there it's just what they do um, but coming to these free agents if it's if it's my pick I'd probably bring in Mike Daniels okay and I honestly go draft somebody to be honest with you I mean it doesn't we'll see what happens in the meantime but as of right now I don't see the Eagles paying big money. I, I mean, the trenches is where it's important. So, I mean, I know there's a lot of rumors out there about Vic Beasley. And, you know, you never know what the Eagles could really be. Jannard Avery could be a big focal piece uh, with another year left on his contract. You know, the trade we made at the trade deadline with uh, the Browns' fourth-round pick for Jannard Avery. Um, a very good talent, you know, could play outside linebacker, could play defensive end, could cover. I mean, could pretty much do everything. Um, but bringing Chris Jones... Um, is more unrealistic than bringing Mike Daniels. Mike Daniels is like a vet. You know, he's a vet. You know what I mean? I understand we're not trying to do that. But when it comes to... I mean, to be honest with you, the defensive line, the defensive tackle-wise, Fletcher Cox is going to turn 30. Malik Jackson's 30 or over. Timmy Jernigan was still basically young, but he's not going to be on the roster. And, you know, we really don't have Hassan Ridgeway that we traded in the draft last year. We traded for Hassan Ridgeway with the Colts last year in the draft to acquire him. And he did okay, but he just it's just not enough. Anthony Rush was a practice squad guy that came up. Bruce Hector was traded. Then he came back. Then he left. Then he came. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. So... Mike Daniels is probably my best bet for a rotational guy going into the year. Okay, so put that name down. I think that's going to be really important. His contract's up with Detroit. Give him a prove it deal. Bring him in. Um, you always, you always want at least. I, I at least want one guy behind. You know, then we hopefully whoever can line up, line up next to Mike Daniels. You know, then we'll be pretty good at defensive tackle. Of course, we want young talent, but um, to bring a guy in like this just on a one-year prove-it deal while I bring in some young guys probably would work out a lot better. 
Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about the defensive tackle free agents. There's only a few of them out there, but some that, you know, the Eagles are not going to go pay one like crazy, like Chris Jones. But you're looking at Mike Daniels and kind of that kind of interests me a little bit more because he's going to be more affordable and he's had two really bad years. OK, and he could be one of the part of one of the best defensive lines in the NFL. OK, um, it's not one of the best defensive fronts right now because we haven't really done much and it's the offseason. But, hey, it is what it is. All right. I will see you guys later. Shake it up. Fly, fly.